the pick is in, so let's find out what the Chargers are doing at six. With the sixth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Justin Herbert, quarterback, Oregon. And there you see the reaction in Eugene. One thing you won't have to worry about when you're talking about Justin Herbert, his ability to understand the playbook. He carried a GPA of over four while earning a general science degree with a focus in biology. I think picking up naked blitzes might not be a problem. Amazing story for him. He came on as a sixth stringer and slowly but surely worked his way up the draft chart and the, and the quarterback chart at Oregon. He has a lot of family history. He is a kid from Eugene, Justin Herbert, and a lot of ducks in his background. Grandfather Roger ran track at Oregon State. His other grandfather, Rich, played football at Oregon. His father, Mark, played at Montana for the Grizzlies, football and track. His brother played at Montana State, a football player there. Patrick also played at Oregon. And then there's Justin, played basketball, baseball, and football in high school. And of course, Justin Herbert wearing a Joey Harrington jersey. And now Justin Herbert, another one of the Oregon quarterbacks going high in the draft. NFL Network's Kurt Warner. Kurt, what do you think about Justin Herbert? Well, there's a lot to like about Justin Herbert, Trey, is that we've seen the big arm. We've seen the ability to push the ball down the field. He's got athleticism where he can work outside the pocket. So I love the mix. You know, when you're a top 10 pick, you usually go to a team that's rebuilding. He gets to throw to Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. He's got Austin Eckler in the backfield. I mean, he's got a good group of guys to build around. My biggest question with him, Mel, is getting the ball out quick. A lot of things that he threw, he seemed very measured, and he wasn't able to get the ball out quick. Can he do that at the next level is my biggest question, Mel. I'm with you, Kurt. He was streaky, you know, and he made some head scratchers. You know, he gets them down to the 35-yard line late against Auburn, then air mails it out of the end zone, doesn't even give his receiver a chance. Then in the Utah game, he had seven straight incompletions late in the year, but he won those games, and then he finished strong, and he had that really good senior bowl week, and that was the key. I think players gravitated to him down in Mobile. Everybody said, well, he's not that big-time leader. Well, he showed it there. The combine, the same thing. He did have a pro day, which was very impressive. Oregon didn't have a ton of talent around them, and we got out of that offense, he went down to Mobile. He took to it really well, and I think that's what I think sealed the deal for him, not just being a talent, but a kid that can prosper and flourish in the NFL, Trey. Yeah, listen, everyone talks about what an introvert he is, but a lot of introverts have done very successful things. So we've had three quarterbacks go off the board. This is the third time in the common draft era, going back to 67, that three quarterbacks have taken in the first six picks. NFL Draft begins Thursday, April 23rd on ESPN and ABC.